Greetings all, Frog here. It's time for the Friday update from the pond. So I've got just a couple of things to talk about in this update today about the channel. Uh, it shouldn't be too long, but uh, it's definitely some interesting things that have gone on in the past week. And one of the first things uh, that you'll notice is that I am mostly caught up on the backlog. I've changed my little shading here, so green is rendered. Um, and yellow is just edited and then when I finally get it uploaded, basically when I uploaded I scheduled it anyway So it was silly to have it in two parts. So today this is today. You've already seen GeoGuessr. I'm recording this actually at 830 on Thursday, so You can see what's already been done for today. You'll GeoGuessr has already gone up by the time this goes up I, I guess I could switch this to recorded since I am in the process of recording it and then um, these have already been rendered. Uh, they just have to be uploaded, which I do generally at the end of the night. I do most of my rendering and uploading uh, in the evening after I'm done wanting to record anything. It's personal time for me. Saturday's already done as well. I just have to render GeoGuessr. That won't be a problem. We'll talk about why that's not done yet. And then I have uh, all of these uh, mostly done. The only thing left is Metro Monday, which is always recorded on Sunday night. And I haven't figured out what I'm going to do for Throwback Thursday yet. One of my friends asked if I'm going to return to Wolfenstein, but I, I can't save the game the way I'm playing it, so there's really no point to that. But I'll figure something out. Uh, there'll be there'll be something in that slot. Not in a big rush to get that done. And I just have two more GeoGuessers to record, which is no problem. So all of this has been recorded and edited. This is fantastic. I just have to upload it, which takes a while. I still haven't fixed any problems with the uploading speed, so I, I haven't really looked into that. I'm just kind of working around it right now by uploading when I go to bed. So it uploads overnight, and by the time I wake up, everything's done, so I don't really have to worry about it. Um, one of the nice things I've discovered when I've been rendering is that um, YouTube uses the WebM format. It's uh, allowable to upload. Obviously, if I can upload at faster speeds than just using a straight MP4 with the AC audio compression would be preferred, but I can't do that. So I'm going to have to just upload with WebM and have them process it. Well, as it turns out, they're using the HTML5 um, video st um, streamer, video player, I guess, more than they're using the um, Flash player these days. So the WebM actually fits nicely because one, Google developed it, so they already know how to use it. Uh, and then two, it's the HTML5 new standard basically for web videos. And it's hellaciously smaller. It's it's unbelievably smaller. Um, if I come into the file size here, I'm going to just click over. Let's see here. Just uh, to, to show, Factorio I've been recording, um, that's all rendered. So let's take a look at the raw file for Factorio. Uh, this is without my commentary. We'll use episode 19, for instance. That's 425 megabytes. After I've done the actual... Um, well, that's not a good comparison. Hold on. So episode 18 is the last one I did with Flash. That's 731 megabytes uh, as a Flash file in the final version. The raw format for that file was 492. So I picked up an extra 200 megabytes, which makes sense because I added 260 megabytes of my final audio file after all the processing. So, you know, you add the 492 plus the 260, that's about 750 and some change, and it's 731. So there is some slight compression. Well, now let's put it in. Let's look at episode 19. 19, the raw video is 425.7. It is a shorter episode, right? 492 versus 425. That's fine. The audio is 225 versus the 260. Again, it's a shorter episode. So 225 and 425, we're going to look at 650, right? Plus some change because there's points in there. Well, the final WebM version of it is 199.5 megabytes. And it's all there. I've watched it uh, in its entirety. The quality, I think, is just as good as the Flash version. It's just smaller. The compression is tremendously good. I, I don't know how they do it. I don't understand it. I don't know what extra stuff is going into the Flash, but it works. So if it gets to YouTube that way, fantastic. The better part for me is when we're comparing a 200 megabyte file to a 700 megabyte file, it's going to upload, obviously, in a third the time. This makes it so much better for me because now I can upload minimal things uh, as I go. So hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, it'll it'll mean I won't have to take as long to upload things and I can kind of do some more midweek videos and get those going. Not that, that you'll notice because of the way I've done the schedule, uh, it, it really doesn't impact it too much. But we'll talk about that later. So one of the other things that I think is going to help when I do all this is I, I've Notice that when I compiled Ubuntu the last time, I compiled it in a 32-bit version. And if your ears are going to turn off, then give yourself about two minutes here. We're going to talk about bitrate. So I have a 64-bit 
hardware architecture. It's the, the quad core Phenom 2 that's 64 bit. Um, it's obviously on the 64 bit motherboard or I couldn't put the 64 bit chip in it. And, um, all the RAM is 64 bit. My graphics card is capable of, of processing, uh, graphic units actually also at 64 bit, which doesn't really matter because it's a separate process anyway. It's all 64 bit. But my operating system is 32 bit, so I'm losing the functionality of this computer, which is insane. When I played games on it, it doesn't really matter because they're 32 bit games anyway. They're going to process at 32 bits. Who cares? Well, when I'm doing video rendering in software that has 64 bit native software, at least I, I think it does. Um, I haven't checked. I'll have to do that to, to make sure that the whole way it goes. I mean, the recording is not as important. If OBS doesn't have a 64 bit version, who cares? But I'm pretty sure Caden Live does have a 64 bit version. Um, and I'm again, pretty sure that Audacity is too. When you throw those things in, uh, they're going to run significantly faster on a 64 bit system than they do on a 32 bit. Now, not double. It won't be twice as fast because there's still some things that, that aren't as fast. And, and honestly, I don't know if Nvidia has a 64 bit proprietary driver for Ubuntu or not. I haven't looked into that. Uh, this is something I'm going to look into over the next week or so. But if I can upgrade this to 64 bit, it'll cut the rendering times down too. So if I get faster rendering and faster upload times, I'll be able to have more free time to actually work on this channel and interact with you than to, you know, sit around while everything renders. I've got a personal laptop. I could go, you know, grab that and, and do some of that stuff on there, but I can't like record more videos. I can't do that sort of thing. So I, I end up getting slowed down by my technology, which is not good. So I'm going to upgrade 64-bit versus 32-bit. All right, so if the bit rate bores you, you can start listening again. Um, the other thing that, that I've noticed, unfortunately, is Chrome has memory leaks. Uh, I'm running Ubuntu 14.10, and the version of Chrome that is installed leaks like it's a sieve. Um, when I finally figured out why, uh, I had tried to render a GeoGuessr game that's about a half hour file so uh before it, it had been taking well before i had discovered the magic of webm it had been taking quite some time to render i mean 40 minutes and then when i got the new version of caden live it, it brought it back down to about 25 minutes for a 30 minute file and the the webm is actually a little bit faster than that about 20 minutes well it took over an hour so this is this is bad i mean it, it shouldn't take double the time and i was really getting pissed off at caden live again thinking oh well you know blah 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 because i am running the the latest git builds of caden live to a point it's whatever sunad puts in his his um repository but it's still bleeding edge so of course there's gonna be bugs and it does crash um fairly frequently but i i knew that and i know how to avoid the crashes now like i have to make sure that the audio previews have been fully loaded before i try and drag something onto the timeline i can't double click certain things i can't you know and, and i understand all that i can work around that i understand i'm using a development version of the software as it is it works great but what I noticed is it, it took an hour, so it shouldn't take twice as long. So I looked into it, I ran top, and I figured out, oh, well, Chrome was using over two gigabytes of RAM. Well, when you're trying to do a multi-thread process through Melt and you can't use the full RAM, like it doesn't matter if you can use the, all the CPU power because I had to swap so much and the hard drives are obviously significantly slower than accessing RAM that it just took forever. So I now know I have to close Chrome before I do anything. And actually, before I render tonight, I'm going to completely shut it down and restart it. So the only thing that I start is Caden Live. I've done all my editing. I mean, you can see everything's been edited for the two weeks that are going by here. So the only thing I have left to do is just to render. So I can just open Caden Live. It's the only program running. I'm not going to have to worry about a memory leak and anything else. If Caden Live memory leaks, well, I mean, there's that. But I think this version is stable enough, and it won't. But that's been a significant problem, and I didn't notice because I keep Chrome open all the time. I'm going to have to stop doing that. I can get Twitter updates on my phone. I don't need to be looking at that. I am on Twitter now, by the way, uh, twitter.com slash purplefrogplays, just like uh, YouTube. And it's... It's not something I need to keep open. It's nice to be able to cut and paste into uh, the seeds, but I can just come back into the Google Doc later. I can create a gedit document for all that matters, and that's a simple text editor. It's not going to do anything to drag down my system memory, not like Chrome is doing. And, and like I said, all I had was Drive at, at the point. I didn't even have Twitter open. It was just Google Drive, and it was causing problems. It was, it was literally over, It was I think it was when you add it all up, 2.7 gigabytes. I mean, that's like three quarters. I only have four gigabytes of RAM, and it was nuts. So that's going to be solved, thankfully. 
Uh, in terms of the, the video schedule, um, this is the time of the show where I normally get freaked out because of self-doubt. And I say the show, I don't mean now this, this Friday update, but rather just the whole process of starting something new. I, I'm a performer background. I've mentioned this many times before. And it's always that moment when you get to a certain level that you wonder, okay, is it really worth it? Are people watching? Well, they are. Excuse me, I have seven subscribers. You know, it's, it's a, a pretty good beginning. And I know that this channel can be intimidating for some people to start with because I am running three videos a day. That's a lot of content. But at the same time, I'm not expecting people to watch all of my videos. You know, it's something that I had to deal with when I first started watching Arumba. Arumba has an unbelievable output. He does six videos a day when he's uh, in peak form. He At one point, he was doing eight. That's insanity. It's it's awesome that he can do it. He's also doing it full-time. It's a lot different than you know having a full-time job and trying to do YouTube. When he was doing that, he wasn't putting out the same level of input. But, you know, he puts out this this massive level and I tried to watch it all. I mean, I watched everything. And then eventually I realized, you know, I can't I can't keep up with this and still watch Northern Line and still watch Mathis and still watch uh, Quill and Enter Elysium and all these guys, you know, Steve Joe Bentham. These are all people that I try and watch, you know, at least a video or so a day. I, I really am, am intrigued by all of these people. They're, they're not on my sidebar just because I'm trying to get views or something. It's because these are people I actually watch and like. And I think they're great. Bear Taffy, too. That's another one. And I think that, it, that it's okay if you don't watch all the videos. Right? GeoGuessr is my most popular right now. Uh, I didn't anticipate it but now thinking back on it uh having now in two weeks i understand why because it's more accessible than factorio or eu4 i get that so if you don't like the factorio videos you don't have to watch the factorio videos and honestly you're probably not watching the factorio videos and if you don't like the factorio videos you're probably not watching this either because honestly this is kind of a geeky thing but you know i mean if you don't like eu4 you know, don't watch EU4. If you like EU4, but you don't like the Russian campaign because if you think it's, oh, it's too easy or whatever, that's fine. You know, I'm not expecting everyone to watch everything. I'm just happy if you watch something that you enjoy. And if you listen to these updates all the way through, God bless you because, you know, you're, you're, it means that you're interested in my process, which is basically me trying to be interested in what you're doing and, and to, to understand and, and to, to like what's going on and to, to be part of this community that we're trying to grow, which is part of why I went on to Twitter. It's not really my thing. I haven't used Twitter a lot, but I, I'll try it out. You know, what What the hey? I mean, it's not that hard. I'll just blast out random things. I mean, even while I'm, I'm working, maybe when I'm on break, I'll, I'll get onto Twitter, check some feeds and, and throw some things out there. And I don't mean working uh, on the channel because when I'm doing that, I'll absolutely be on Twitter, although with the Chrome memory leak, maybe less. But you know, when I'm at my day job and, and what, what have you, you know, I'm lucky enough to have a day job that, that offers a significant amount of break time throughout the day, uh, which is, which is nice. So, you know, I, I, I think that the frequency is a good thing and I'm going to stick with it three times a, a day. It may be too much. I don't know if it's too much for you personally. Again, you don't, you don't have to watch everything. And if you want to watch everything and find yourself falling behind, well, then in a way I've succeeded in a way I've failed because I've succeeded since you want to watch everything. I must be interesting to some degree and I failed because you, you can't keep up. And I understand that because believe me, I tried to follow a Roomba and it's just, it's just insane. Uh, so it's tough. That being in mind, the Throwback Thursdays and the Metro Mondays. I want to talk about these a little bit. Throwback Thursday, I think, is is a great feature. I'm going to keep it. It's only We're only in the third week, right? So I really don't know what works yet. But with the Throwback Thursdays, I think I'm going to need some help with some recommendations. What's good out there? What's an older game that I could get the rights to do? Like, I'm trying to do... I want to do the Oregon Trail, but I don't just want to put it up there, right? It's just because it's on the Internet Archive doesn't mean I could broadcast it. It just means that it's there to play. So if I wanted to play, say, the Oregon Trail... I, I really personally want to get the rights from uh, the learning company who has it now uh, to to really do that. And I put out emails, and it's just a matter of waiting. Well, I haven't heard anything in a week and a half, so I'm going to have to put out another email. And that's just how it goes. You know, you have to be polite, you have to be professional, but sometimes you have to be insistent. And that's something. So I, I would like to do the Oregon Trail because I think it's really funny. Um, you know, maybe I just play more ID software games because it's good. I've got Neverwinter Nights floating around here somewhere. Maybe I can get permission to, to play some of that, um, you know, and play some games through Wine. I, I really like the, the Linux thing. That's that's my thing. Um, but maybe I have to play something through Wine for the throwback because there's just not as much throwback out there for Linux or that's available within a browser. Now, I could use DOSBox and play some more old games like that, especially I think this computer 
As a, no, it doesn't have a three and a half inch drive in this one, but I, I could put one in. It's it's simple. I have many lying around, at least two. So I could throw a three and a half inch drive in here and then play some of the old games through the DOS emulation. I, you know, let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are about that. Um, and the Metro Monday thing, I, I'm not sure is, if it's working. I like having a blog update about my life. Like this update is about the channel. This will always be about the channel, what's going on, and very little in my life unless it directly affects the channel because I'm going to get to something in a minute. Um, in terms of the Metro Monday, that's pretty much just my life, what's going on in life, what I'm thinking about, you know, stream of consciousness, whatever I want to talk about while I play Metro Monday. So at least you have something visually interesting, Mini Metro, that is. <clears throat> But I get so distracted by Mini Metro, I don't know if this works. So let me know uh, if that goes along. And again, it's only three weeks in. I'm going to keep doing them at least for another few weeks. But maybe there's something else to slot into that that spot. So about my life, I'm going on vacation. And it's a three-day short trip to Tennessee. And uh, it might affect the video schedule. I hope it won't, though. I'm trying to get far ahead. Um, as it is now, I'm basically done with this coming week, and it's only Thursday. So this is good. This is where I wanted to be, to build that buffer. Well, now, throughout the week, you know, on Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, uh, Tuesday night, I'm going to try and record so I can get the next week done before my next Wednesday and Thursday, which is my weekend. So I do the Wednesday and Thursday that records the following week out. And so when I go on vacation, it's no big deal. All right, I'll be gone for a few days. Don't worry, I have someone to look after the cats. And, you know, we'll we'll just go from there. So I'm trying to build a buffer. This is a very short trip, three days. I could probably even record something in the morning before we leave and then probably record something in the evening when we come back. But it's it's very short. But this is going to be the first good test because then um, Origins is coming up. I'm going to go to Origins, so I need to take some time not to record there. And then, uh, you know, this is all in preparation for my big trip next January um, when we're going to go down to Disney for the first time for me in oh, 20 years. So it's it's something to see. Can we keep the pace going? And I think I can. But I just wanted to let you know that vacation is coming. Uh, and the last thing I just want to talk about is a thank you so much, everybody who likes the videos, all of the, the ones that, that are out there. If you don't like it, you know, I understand completely. You don't have to click the like button, but clicking the like button really does help out. It helps build the search rankings. It helps show up in more and recommended videos for other people. It's just really, really appreciated. And I, I understand the likes now more than I did before. So now when I watch a video of a fellow YouTuber that I really like, I click the like button. I don't hide back from it and I try and make a point of it because it really does matter. So, you know, thank you for those likes. Thank you for the subscriptions. We have seven subscribers. Who knows how far we'll go? All I know is that I'm going to put in the hard work to make it happen. If you uh, can give me just a the little bit back to say, hey, I love your stuff, that would really help keep me moving along to just uh, to know that you're out there and watching and appreciating it. Um, that's why I think, you know, my favorite subscriber right now, and my my mom always said don't play favorites, but my favorite right now is 90117 because they're always, always responding, um, always commenting, and it just helps really feel like someone out there is listening. You know, my wife listens to me record sometimes and she watches a few videos, but that's my wife. That's like, you know, we're bound by love to do all that stuff. It's really nice to hear people that are that are out there. So... Thank you so much. This video, as per usual, apparently is going long. I guess these things are just going to be about 20 minutes. That's probably why nobody watches them. But, you know, hopefully if you, you do, you enjoyed it. If you if you did, go ahead and click that like button. It's not as important for these because this isn't the series we need to get out there. It's, it's the GeoGuessr. It's the Factorio. It's the EU4. I mean, the Throwback Thursday. I don't know anyone else doing that right now. I'm sure there are. They're just not in my circles. So, you know, the Throwback Thursday, if we can get that out there. All of this stuff is, is really good. So I really appreciate all of your, your likes and your comments and your subscriptions especially. Uh, you you know, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this for the community. That's that's the whole point is just to get out there, be social uh, in another way than actually going out there and being social because people are scary. Anyway, thank you so much again for listening. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you like what you're, you're watching and you want more GeoGuessr Factorio and you four in your newsfeed. And until I see you next time, cheers.